Mitosis is the division of the somatic cell creating two identical cells. Since the DNA replicates during the S phase of interphase, by the time we get to mitosis, each of our 46 chromosomes is comprised of two identical sister chromatids bound by a centromere. The centromere is wrapped by a protein called the kinetochore. Mitosis takes place in four phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During prophase, the chromosomes condense and shorten. The nuclear envelope disintegrates and disappears. The centrioles begin to sprout microtubules called spindle fibers. These push the centrioles to opposite poles as they get longer. Some of these spindle fibers attach to the kinetochores of the chromosomes. In metaphase, the spindle fibers tug on the kinetochores, pulling them to the midline of the cell, forming the mitotic spindle. Other fibers form the aster, which anchors the spindle fibers to the plasma membrane. In anaphase, an enzyme splits the sister chromatids from one another at the centromere. Each chromatid is now a separate chromosome. Each one migrates to opposite poles of the cell as motor proteins in the kinetochore crawl along the spindle fiber. During the last phase, telophase, the chromatids cluster on each side of the cell as the rough ER produces a new nuclear envelope around each cluster. The chromatids begin to uncoil and return to the thinly dispersed chromatin form. The new nucleus is now ready to function. During anaphase and telophase, what's also taking place is called cytokinesis. This is division of the cytoplasm into two new cells. This is achieved by a protein pulling on the microfilaments in the terminal web of the cytoskeleton. This creates the cleavage furrow, and the cell pinches into two, creating two identical diploid daughter cells, each identical to the parent cell.